you know it's coming up to summer when the uh the old $15 special bunning fans are coming out Ugh. yuck as you would have seen from the title we're servicing a 31 year old car and conveniently enough it is an r31 wagon uh, so i've had this for let's just say six months six or seven months now um and it's very very overdue for some service so today we're just going to be doing a bit of a service i've got most of the stuff here um i just need to grab some leads next week so as i said uh, i bought this car about six months ago um so the guy i bought it off and it was an old dude he was 94 years old his son actually sold it to me which looked about uh, at least 75 so i did meet the old dude he was fully there his body was just he couldn't his body couldn't keep up with his mind so it's pretty cool to have a one owning car with again papers and documentation of when it's been serviced and full service history and stuff so got two of them now so two of them with a bit of a backstory so originally got the white one which i'll put up here um i bought it from another guy with a bit of a history so there's a bit of a story to that as well if you want to go watch that but today like i said we're going to be servicing the rb30 um let's check the oil so the service ticket indicates that it was meant to be serviced at, at 230,000 kilometers or uh, a date in 2017 and obviously it's 2021 now it still is only at 225,000 kilometers so it hasn't actually reached its um, kilometer but obviously time has passed so we thought we'd uh, give it a bit of a freshen up before we go ahead and put the manual conversion in all right we've been here for about five minutes and we've already come in ran into a predicament we don't have an oil drainer so i'm pretty sure these take like four and a half liters or five liters so i'm just gonna cut this half out and then we can let that fill up and then drain it out the end straight off the uh the repco shelf all right let's hope this is actually four and a half liters let's hope it's not over five bit of an oil leak from the sump it's a little bit rusty but so it's all surface rust so which is good she looks all right hey jesus christ <laughs> oh well lads we're on here you slow them down a little bit and it's not completely full. So yeah, about four and a half liters, I reckon. Yeah, there we are. Old filters out, I had to do the uh, good old screwdriver and hammer trick because it was too tight. So pretty well, you just hammer a screwdriver straight through it and then you use that for more leverage to pop that oil filter off. So, new one on. Uh, there's obviously no oil in it now, but I'll do that at the end. Um, so for now, we're gonna do the uh, air filter. This is probably the only RB30 that I've seen with a washer cap. All clips for the intake. Ooh. That's a filthy old girl. That's a bonus. So they're using Nissan, Nissan parts because they use the oil filter and the um, and the air filter, which is good. So genuine Nissan baby. Out with the old, in with the new. All right, so we uh, took the top intake hose off, cut the hose clamps, um, and then the leads run on the back of it. And then there is also a little Phillips head a uh, little bolt there, which you have to pull off to pull that intake off. So three hose clamps, one bolt, and a couple of leads you just have to pull off. All right, all the uh, all the plugs are changed, all six. They look they, they look okay. A bit dark, obviously haven't been changed in a minute, but at least they're done now. Start doing a little bit of detail. Rocker cover, give that a wipe over. Uh, tighten these rocker cover like gasket bolts. They were very loose, hence why I reckon they were seeping. But 
yeah, we're just gonna try clean up this end of a little bit. It's funny how much five minute little clean does, so I'll add a before and after. All right, now time to fill up with some oil. Make sure there's no fuel. All right, that pretty well concludes the uh, the service bar the leads. Bit of a detail, so we did oil, fuel filter, air filter, oil filter, plugs. We've got to do some leads, and then I have to top up and um, flush out the old the old brake fluid because that's looking very very average. But all the other fluids are all right. I checked uh, power steering. Power steering is good. Coolant's green and full, which is good. Um, and the engine bay is looking a heap nicer now. So we'll get on to the, the next next part of the video. All right, so um, if you guys remember, I had a white wagon a while ago now, roughly about a year ago, and it had a manual. We ended up scrapping that, but we kept the manual. So what a what a better idea to, uh, to put it in the red wagon. So um, I wanna try to sort out and find all this shit that I've got lying around everywhere. Um, we might even clean the box today. Alrighty, good news. We've pretty well sorted everything we need for the manual conversion. So, um, like I said, we got this out of the manual white wagon, which was full of rust, which we ended up getting rid of, but we stripped it before we got rid of it, took the manual conversion and pretty well got rid of everything else that we didn't need and that no one wanted. Um, so yeah, like we said, we got rid of the shell and this is pretty well the only thing that's left from that car and a few little interior bits. So, uh, like I said, I got the full manual conversion, but as you can see, about a year ago, I was smart enough to keep all the bolts intact and keep everything labeled, which is good. So, like I said, we found that flywheel eventually, which is good, um, and this is the next thing. So, we got a clutch industry, heavy duty clutch, apparently over 20% more torque, <laughs> but I just got this because it was cheap. It was 200 bucks, or $221 on spares box but they were doing a special spend 250 dollars you get 50 dollars off so i was like damn i'll uh, spend an extra like 30 dollars and then so i got some plugs and i got the fuel filter and actually took me down to 200 dollars on the dot which is good so we got the clutch for 200 dollars heavy duty clutch to suit an rb clutch industries they're you know they're well known a lot of guys do use them so we got the heavy duty for 200 dollars which is in my books i'm stoked hence why we're making this step forward as you can see, uh, the box is filthy. Everything's pretty filthy. So we'll clean that, uh, make sure it's all sweet, ready to go. Make sure we have all the bolts. Uh, I'm pretty sure I just double checked over everything. So we got um, gearbox mount uh, nuts. We got the bolts for the center bearing. We got the tail shaft rear bolts. Obviously we got the flywheel, flywheel bolts uh, on, that, on that shaft there. Also got the pedal, the bolts, already bolts on there. And then we got the hard line and all those goodies in there, which is a good sign because I would have been spewing if we were chasing around bolts and whatnot, but stoked. Oh, and also got a manual ECU, which uh, ties in pretty good. We do have, I think in the bottom down there, we have a couple of boots. So we got leather and a rubber boot. I'll just run a leather and we got shit everywhere. Big quick update on the box scenario. It's looking alright. I'm happy with that. Definitely glad I cleaned it. Got the gurney out and those wasn't doing much for me, so look at that. Keen to slap this stuff in. Alright, I'll drop a before and after. Super happy with how that turned out now looking back like at said, it. This menu is gonna get done pretty soon. Um, hopefully over the holidays while we have time off work. So yeah, um, in the next video, more than likely going to be putting this manual conversion in, uh, get keen for some content, and then yeah, finally a manual 
manual wagon going around on the channel. Let's get it done. Gosh, damn it. Yeah. It's driving me crazy. Uh, I see a day to see a job is what it made me.